All right, here's a look at some calves real quick before I update you on what we've been up to. These calves are about ready to go to market. We're about out of feed for them. Probably about two weeks or so. I want to get them up on the scales as well. I think they're right around six something, maybe a little heavier. So I've been having a problem with my GoPro. And so what you didn't see me do is put in these T-posts here and this five wires. You can start to see the entrance or the gate. This would be the entrance to the alfalfa field right here. And the next chunk we gotta build is from here over to those posts or those braces over there. And so the way we're gonna do that is I'm gonna take um, the barbed wire, we're gonna run it down there, and then I'm gonna unroll it, and I think I have enough of a continuous strand to do two wires. Um, but we just need one wire in order for me to get the T-post lined out. I use the bottom wire as a guide so I can get all the T-posts uh, in line. Um, and so that's what I use as my string line. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this wire rolled out and we'll see if I got enough. So the way we do this is we tie, a sh tie the string around this way. We do two loops or two wraps and then we just walk it down. All right, well, that didn't work. I was about 10 feet short and I could have spliced it with another piece, but I'd rather a single non-spliced wire go up. Uh, that's just my preference. Probably wouldn't hurt anything, but I like everything to look a certain way. And uh, I got another roll over here, so we'll go over here and see if, uh, if it'll be big enough. Alrighty, so this is take two the bigger roll of wire this is one of my big monster wires that I made way too big because it's really hard to control well find the end of it <clears throat> and we will tie it off to the pole and walk the other way want to get any kind of obstruction Let's see if this okay any kind of obstruction in the in the line I can see it's getting tight and off the ground I'm gonna pull it one more it should be plenty tight that should be able to give us enough tightness so when I loosen it and when I put this around here it'll still be tight I always seem to go one more sometimes I go too much okay that's good enough if you go too much I'll break your wire Two wraps as tight as you can, and then around the wire, a couple of laps, loops around with that. And then you 
can loosen it up. Okay, and that is a nice tight bottom wire. And the other thing I would say is, yes, it's June. Yes, I'm wearing a jacket. It just rained a half an inch and it's cold outside because there's a light breeze going on. But I think I've got enough wire actually to do another strand, but we got to put the T-posts in first. So let's go grab the T-posts and uh, let's see the T-post drivers over there. We need some ear protection. So we'll go get all that and we'll start putting T-posts in the ground. All right, so the way you space these out is you do about six medium to large size steps. So you just count it out. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, lay a T-post. Then you go to the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, lay a T-post. And that will keep the spacing consistent all the way down your line. It doesn't matter if you're building 100 feet or a quarter mile, they'll all be totally consistent. All right, so we got all the T-posts laid out. We got our earplugs in. Now, we just pound the posts in. And the way I determine, oops, that thing's full of mud. That's not good. See if I can get some of that mud out. Well, kinda. That's better. So the way we determine which way to put the, the knobs is the way that the pressure and the paddle are most likely to come. So in my case, the pressure is going to be coming from this way. So when we gather, we're going to use this fence to push them into to go up into the crowd chute there. So we're going to put the, the knobs this way. So you just get the post close to the wire, about like so, straight up and down. You don't want to touch the wires. You don't want to bend it out of place and you put it in. If it goes crooked, you can put your foot on it, on this plate, when you're pounding it in, and it'll help to straighten it out. You can also put a pipe wrench on it if you need to. But if you can get it straight on the first couple taps, it'll go straight down. When I get close to that wire, I move it out of the way so I don't accidentally cut the wire. For a height, to figure that out, I go to about, right about here would be the top button on the shirt. So about here. You just repeat the process. All right, well, I was able to get all the fence posts in. We had, I put in 23 tonight, which is, which is pretty dang good. This ground is really hard. Even though we got about a half an inch of rain, it's hard. It hasn't been tilled or dissed or ripped or anything in, oh, a lot of years because the circle is about, oh, 15 feet away from where I'm putting this. And they haven't dissed this alfalfa field on this chunk of land probably in a long, long time, if ever. And so, holy smokes. But that's great because now that allows us to tack up the bottom wire 
I believe I have enough wire to do one more pass to do the second wire. But I'm gonna tack them up and run this second wire tomorrow. And then I'm gonna go on to Google Earth and do some creative measuring to figure out how much additional wire I need to put the rest of these three strands up on this chunk here. And then how much wire we're gonna need to do the other half. That'll be, I don't, eh, I don't, it's probably just shy of about half the fence. So um, we're gonna go down probably to my local hardware store. They got a pretty good deal on barbed wire right now. And so we'll go pay them a visit later this week and get the rest of the rolls that we need. My fence clips came in, so we'll have enough to finish that. I'll need to order some stays. The stays go in between the post, so I'll have to get those. But all that is gonna be for tomorrow, later, the next video, whatever. But I'm gonna end this here because I haven't posted anything in quite a while, so I wanna get this video out to you guys. So we're gonna cut it here. You all have a great evening and uh, stay tuned for the rest of this project. We got gates to build. We got another one, two, two braces to put in, plus a, another brace for the, for the gate. So we still got a lot to do on this project. So stay tuned, ask me any questions you may all have. Let me know, see y'all later, bye.